Welcome back, everybody, to more Terror Time, uh, more Silent Hill 2, uh, Jason Bourne. <laughs> oh, frick. Thanks for that camera angle game. Guess they want us to, to somehow use all the stuff we keep getting. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. I am... Um... I really hope. I don't see why they wouldn't do it, but I really hope that uh, the Silent Hill 2 remake uh, is third person, or in the very least, first person. It is third person. There was like a brief. They they said that during the during the thing, and there was like a brief yeah. like dev. Oh yeah, they showed like a monitor of somebody's like thing running the game. So it looked yeah. like it was the early stages, but yeah, I mean, it, looks it was like they had it running. So which is I think was fine. I mean, I know Silent Hill does some interesting camera angles and stuff, but as you saw there earlier, uh, sometimes it can be a little bit of a detriment. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly. that, that one felt a little deliberately like, haha, there was a, there was a guy you didn't see off camera. Th this this was the era of the fixed camera angle and tank controls for horror yeah. games. This even th go ahead. Even though in most areas you can like bring the camera behind you, so it's not that bad, yeah. but there are a lot of fixed camera angles like this, just to kind of emphasize on stuff. And I mean, that was one of the things that kept me away from these type of games for so long, is because the lack of like control. And I always associated survival horror games with being kind of crappy because it seemed like they were like steps back in terms of compared to everything else, like. Um, I remember saying in my head uh, a couple of times being like, well, Capcom made Mega Man Legends and it's it has tank controls, but you get like full camera control in that game. Why couldn't they do that for Resident Evil? And it's like, well, that's not how the game was made. Duh. Like, just things I didn't think about. <laughs> you know I mean, I mean, yeah, there are some things you wouldn't think about like back then. But, uh, we but, you, but you guys were like, you were guys were just like big fans of all those games. So well, I was like, oh, there must be something to well, them. And well, then I didn't, seven came out well, I didn't even get into like the older Resident Evils until like afterwards. Like my first Resident Evil was four. And I guess, you know, that was like the big modern, like, whoa, check out this game type of thing. Yeah. At the time. But even that, even that was still like to me, it was like, eh, it still looks like, you know, it still looks kind of outdated to me kind of thing. It wasn't until seven that I really was like, okay, the, I understand what these games are about. <laughs> Anyways, lost memories. <laughs> yeah. I have the strongest trust. You may even recall it. Faith, a miracle called resurrection of the dead. It was a movie by John Romero. <laughs> to, upon the hill where the light descended, the beast intoned this, his song with words of blood, drops of mist and the vessel of night. The grave might, the grave become an open field. The people wept in fear and joy at the reunion, but my faith in the salvation of uh, Uchapaba did not waver. It is also spoken of in the ancient legends. The original worshippers did not believe that death was the end, but that it's simply the path by which the deceased returned to nature. They also believed the process was, re was reversible. This was, there's something imprinted towards the bottom of the page. Did Ernest write this? What could it mean? Blood equals red. Mist equals white. Night equals black. Uh, I think that's actually a reference to one of the alternate endings you can get into. Believe it or not. And I was going to say, and people equals shit. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me of of that song being in Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. People still say 76 is somehow worse. Apparently it's gotten better. I guess. But I wouldn't know. Do you know a little girl named Amy? Short, black hair, seven years old. Oh, wait, that's Cheryl. Why do you ask me that? This letter... To my dearest daddy. It's from a girl named Amy Baldwin. Your daddy? Yes, daddy. <laughs> yes. Where'd you find that? Ah. Up in the attic. Oh. 
What a fool! Now! It's too late. I finally understand why. Why she was there. Why she was holding that empty envelope when she, when she fell. Ernest, Amy, she isn't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I reminded you. No need to apologize. You didn't remind me. I've never forgotten. Maria, some things we forget, and some things we can never forget. It's funny. I'm not sure which one is sadder. It's been ten years, but I still... Ernest, I'm sorry. I didn't know. No, it's, it's fine. Maria, that letter. I'll leave it here. Thanks. What about the present? <laughs> I think the letter's more important than mentally. <laughs> You must be. That's why. That's why you could see me. Huh? So perhaps that means that I can hope for a miracle as well. What do you mean? Hmm. Well, we're keeping the present. <laughs> We even know what the present is. In the apartment next door, there's a bottle containing a white liquid. Uh, not that kind of white liquid. It's actually, it's actually relevant in the series. Okay, I was gonna say that's if that's milk, it's probably been way long spoiled. Please, why don't you just get it yourself? If I could believe me, I would. But I... Wait. I'll open the stairway door. Ernest, do you really believe it will work? I don't know. Well, that's okay. I don't mind fighting for an impossible cause. Anyway, it beats just giving up and doing nothing. Maria, thank you. All right. All righty. Or is a... Amy's present to her father, Ernest, found with the birthday card. I think I'll leave this here. So we do leave the present here, actually. We don't know what the present is, though. Mm. Open up and it's like, I don't know, a bad movie or something. It's good. It does look v vaguely VHS shaped. We already read this. So yeah, that white liquid, uh, that actually kind of shows up in other games. Uh, I see. I'll leave the context vague though. Oops. Now, if there's a if there's a figurine in that jar, I'm going to be very upset. This is again not that kind of white liquid. Yeah, maybe that's the problem. Oh, Maria, you think too much. I'm from here. This is my town. Okay, so he said he opened a stairway for us when we have to go 
next door to get get that thing for him. Oh, didn't see you there. This is the lighting. You can't go this way. Well, more locked doors. Let me sound hell without it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it's that door actually. You know, wait, that just leads back. That's the unlocked door. Um. Oh, I think it's that door there by the safe point. Might as well drop a save. All right. Get upstairs. We're downstairs, I guess. Uh. Oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah. I don't have a map because we're in a different building. Mm. Okay, there's, 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 whiny bugs in that room. There's like well, there we go. Well, yeah, I guess we just got to go and deal with it. What's this? There's some kind of plate on the floor. Amy Baldwin. Amy Baldwin. She was loved. She was loved too much by God. Seven years was not enough time. Well, she was seven years old. Let's just make it a joke because. <laughs> yeah, shoot the bug. I mean, might as well. I think I have enough ammo for it. Uh... Yeah, I have over 60 bullets. <laughs> I think I'm good to just shoot everything. Get out of here. I think I think they're dead. Oh, that one isn't. No, that one was moving around still. I was gonna tell you to try squishing it. Oh, it's still moving. It, it was, but it, I think it stopped. Okay, well, fun with bugs. Okay, now go up these stairs. The building across, I guess. Get the. Oh, keep out of haunted mansion. No, Ernest was a ghost. He was, Are you he, saying Ernest was a g -g 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 dead guy? I mean, how else would the hot mansion be haunted? I guess. All right. Okay. We took care of that. Uh, nothing but that barrel. We just go in here. Oh. Well, so these look should these should look familiar. Oh boy. We're back in this they apartment apartments. building. Yep. Oh, you missed the door. Uh, I'll get to it. Remember, we gotta check every door. Wait, squish the bug. Get you. Alright, reload. I'll deal with 
legs over there in a second. <laughs> legs. I mean, I know there is probably official names, but I just I don't remember what they are. Okay. Oh, there's legs again. Oh, there's more. And see you there. Yeah, I guess what makes this a little bit more challenging. <laughs> I was missing there. I guess what makes this a little bit more challenging is that Maria does not have a radio on her, so you can't hear the enemies coming in. That's fair. Oh look, there's the there's the toilet that you that James just stuck his hand in, all for a wallet just to get some more ammo. Remember that? Yep. Here we just see how this plays out in the remake. We'll have to find out next time on Terror Time. Good place for next time in the, in the toilet. Just like this game's in the toilet. Oh. Uh, 